Salut les amis! Welcome to my channel! So, if anyone here knows me, you know I don't like Christmas, but when the Fluid Art Express family asked me to be on the Christmas collab, I said yes right away without even thinking. So I'm part of the 22 guests today. Before me, you may have seen the Slima Maya art. If not, make sure you go back to her channel after the collab. And after me is going to be Mary Louise Rolf. So, here I go! For today's piece, I decided to use a wood cloud board and do some kind of snowy background, foresty background. A cloud pour on a cloud would have been too obvious, so I decided to make a Dutch board. I used my Royal and Nanmico white. And then I decided to use three colors. Uh, the first one is a house paint, it's called Pasadena. It's a very dark gray, bronzy color. Then I used a gold color house paint. And then I used my this little piggy unicorn that I had on my shelf for a while. And you are you seeing me blow out my piece. I'm very, very pleased with the placement, but I had too much paint on the center. So you're gonna see me blow this piece out more. Then I stared at the result and thought that it was missing some of the unicorn. So I decided to pick up some cat hair out of the piece as usual and then put some unicorn back and blew it up, blow it out again. Then I let it dry. And after it was dry, I thought it was still missing some of the unicorn. So you're not gonna see me do this on camera, but I decided to do some washes of the unicorn pigment because it's a very transparent pigment and I did it after it was dry so you're gonna see the color shift between the blue and the purple and the pink here so that's the dry result of the Dutch pour then I decided to do a template but it's a surprise so I won't tell you what it is until the end you're gonna have to guess I decided to outline my with some glitter glue that I found in a craft store called Action. They're not, some of them are not quite pigmented, uh, especially the whites, so um, you're gonna see, but it, it, it's gonna be useful anyway. So uh, you're gonna see me do some outlines. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna leave you with the, with the, the process for a while so you can enjoy the music. And, um, and I'm gonna come back in a while to explain you what I did after the outlining with the glitter glue. So sit back, relax, and I'm gonna come back later to explain you more. Oh, I forgot to tell you something very important. The music background is my husband's doing, so he's playing the guitar and here's another surprise for you. I decided to sing along, so I hope you like it. what it is. Now I'm gonna fill the blanks with some UV resin. 
I used some of uh, col some colored UV resin that I got on Amazon for this one that I have in hand right now. And then I decided to use glitter UV resin that I got on Timu. So I used a white, a uh, I used a, a glitter white, a glitter red, a glitter yellow, a glitter bronze, a champagne, a gold. Uh, and I think that's it. So every time I use a color, you're gonna see me put a thin layer, spread it with some kind of brush, either a silicone or a nail art one, and then cure it with a very powerful flashlight. This flashlight is really tiny, but it's very powerful. So um, I'm gonna leave you with the rest of the process. And uh, maybe by now you know what I drew. Maybe not. You're gonna see afterwards. Then he smiled at me, but I'm a bum Me and my drum.
So to put the final touch on this little face that I made, I decided to glue down some eyes, some fake eyes that I ordered on Timu. So I put some super glue, some Loctite on the back, on the eyes and tried to drop them right in place because they wouldn't fit in any of my tweezers. So maybe by now you have guessed what I was trying to make. I was trying to make a glittery Christmas wombat. I'm drawing the mustache hair with my uh, black UV resin and um, I put my, uh, my torchlight everywhere to make sure that every, everything was cured. So I'm pretty pleased with the results. Um, I really wanted to test those glittery UV resins that I got on Timu. Uh, the downside of it is that it is not as self-leveling as the uh, regular epoxy resins. So on the, on the Christmas hats you can see the brush strokes everywhere. But all in all, it was a fun piece to make and I find him really cute. So Wombat, this is for you. This is your glittery Christmas Wombat. I hope you liked it, guys. Um, I'm gonna show you some uh, footage of it. Uh, I put it on my wall as a Christmas decoration and I find him so adorable. I hope you like it. Uh, thank you very much guys for inviting me again. I hope you like the video and uh, hope I see you soon. Bye guys!